Hello, welcome to my channel. This channel is mainly about art and cooking. My name is Wonju. I am an artist and a mother who always cook and does art. I think art and cooking are very related. Making, creating something you can do at home. I hope you like my channel and enjoy videos. Thank you. This time I would like to show you how I painted this one. In my childhood, before I went to school, I grew up with my grandparents in the beautiful country. There I could see countless stars in the night. I felt like those stars' light are pouring down onto me. Especially, I loved to watch the sky in the summer night, in the front yard, on a big carpet made out of a rice straw. I placed my head on my grandmother's lap and looked up the sky. It was so beautiful. For this painting, I prepared a 9 by 12 inches canvas. Three primary colors which are red, blue, yellow, and some black and white. First, mix colors red, blue, and yellow make a dark color. Paint over the canvas. and let it dry. After it all dried, I painted a little bit blue over. I usually see blue light in the night. Do you see too? Maybe that's why many animation movies has a dark blue night sky. Actually, in the night, you can see many colors too. It's not like daytime, but I don't know how I can explain to you, but it's like a deep, but it feels more magical, like a hidden treasure. Sometimes it's like some soft, peaceful and beautiful songs. Let it dry it again. After all dried well, I moved it to a garage and placed it on a box like so. I used the white paint and two brushes, mix white with a little bit water and use another brush to tap on the other brush has white paint like so. Tap gently over the canvas and make stars like so.
I mixed the red, yellow, and blue again, but I used the red and blue a little bit more to make a little bit purplish dark color. Think about the view of night. Mostly, you see dark shapes under sky. I usually draw trees and mountain shapes. I love painting, as you see, so I became an artist. But until middle 30, I've never thought I'm going to be painting. When I was in middle 30, I suddenly thought I want to paint. But I had no idea where I could start. There was a local art store nearby my house then. So I just went to there and I asked a clerk that I would like to start to paint, but I don't know anything about. Could you help me? Could you help me to get stuff and how I start? He was very kind and nice, and he showed me a couple of stuff. Also, he explained how I can use for starting painting. When I started the painting, I often messed up, but I kept going paint. I painted 5 to 6 hours until 1 or 2 a.m. every day after I got home from work. I was so excited to see my painting was becoming something else. After I started the painting, I also started to watch the world to see all different angles. Observation. There are many shapes, lines, colors, textures, feelings, and smells. Let's give some more hue. I made a light color, add a little bit white, and paint it over the trees. Acrylic paint is water-based paint that you can wash off, but it's not like watercolor. If it dries on the brush, it's hard to clean off later. So you have to wash your brush or put it in the water after use right away. One more time to sprinkle white stars over the painting, make it look like a starlight all of the night.
Use the black paint to draw tree trunks and branches to give painting more depth. If you want to make a good art, you need to be patient and be consistent. You need to practice. In other words, you need to keep painting. Some painting techniques and tips I like to show you is that you can easily follow to make some art. But if you want to make your original artwork, you need consistency and patience and observation to make your own stories on the canvas. It's a beautiful starry night in the woods now. Did you enjoy this video? Please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Stay safe and enjoy doing art.